Welcome to Tech with Heart. I am your host, Michelle Calloway, founder and CEO of Revealio, Innovative Software and Media Solutions. And today I am talking to you about the hottest social media app out there called Clubhouse. It is a new audio only platform. It's like talk radio, met Oprah and, and live events. It's just an incredible platform and the gates are swinging wide open for business growth on this platform. I myself have experienced it ever since I've spoken in one or two rooms. I've had just a flood of interest into what I offer, how I can help businesses get more visibility and start building their own island so that they can invite others to their island and get up and out of that sea of competition. So yes, let's get right to it. What is Clubhouse? Well, last year it launched and it has been picking up momentum and we're seeing like, it's not quite to critical mass, but people are buzzing about it. You probably have heard about it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna do my best to help you understand why would it be valuable for you? If you are a leader, if you are a speaker or a thought, a thought leader or anybody who would like to have more stage time to be able to speak one to many, this is the platform that you must be on. And it is free, absolutely free. Right now, it is only available on iPhone, but it's gonna be launching in March, 2021, and they may be opening up to the Android audience. But what is seriously different about this platform than any others is that you get to sit in a room with really significantly like big time influencers and listen to them just drop knowledge bomb after knowledge bomb that would normally only be shared if you invested into their masterminds at $20,000 or $40,000 a year. So this is the place for you to learn. This is the place for you to shine, uh, bring value to people about your specific niche. How are you an expert that you can bring uh, value to them to help them overcome some obstacles that they're experiencing? Or if you just wanna hang with some movers and shakers and some forward thinking people, this is the place where you need to be. You're able to be mentored essentially by these gurus who've been in the industry and crushing it like multi-millionaires and some even billionaires. So they're just gonna be guiding you, giving you opportunity to even get on their stage and ask questions. They're even allowing people to pitch their products or services to help them get better at pitching so that you can ultimately drive more sales to you because your wording is correct, your posturing is correct, your confidence is boosted up there. So you can get on people's stages and pitch and in so doing, you're going to be critiqued, which is going to help you grow as an entrepreneur, but you're also being heard by the hundreds of people that are in that room at the time, and they may find that your services are exactly what they need. So matchmaking heaven for free. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> I am so overwhelmed and I'm so excited that this platform came just in time after the most suckiest of years, 2020, where most small businesses just were crushed and some crumbled completely, but uh, definitely felt the squeeze. So if you're still with us and you're still an entrepreneur and you're still wanting to grow, this is the place where all that growth can happen in like seconds, lightning round. This is where the movers and the shakers are hanging. If you're a nonprofit, you also need to be on this platform sharing people, sharing with people your story and why you're doing what you're doing. And of course, the benefits of what you're doing and how it's impacting people. This is where those heart centered movers and shakers are also hanging out and they want to bless people. So there's money. Now they want to give that money to somebody. So why not that somebody be you? So get on Clubhouse right now. Download the app from the App Store, Clubhouse, all one word. I mentioned earlier that it's for iPhone users right now. That is a reality. That is, uh, it's also for by invitation only. So there is definitely a real fear of missing out. We want to guide you if you do get in, if you are not able to get in yet, download the free Clubhouse app on the App Store, create a username for yourself, and you will be added to the waiting list. Once you've done that, let everybody you know 
on social media and all your different networking groups, let them know that you're waiting to be invited in because somebody's bound to have an invitation that um, they can invite you in. Or if you've done the work and you've create, you downloaded the app and you've created a username, there's a very good chance that it'll pop up on their screen inside a clubhouse and they can let you in without even having any invites left in their um, invitation box. It is very limited. And so I want you to um, hear me when I say, be very careful of who you do let in to Clubhouse. Because if you, if they end up not behaving well and get kicked out because they violated any kind of the rules, and we'll discuss that in this talk, then you yourself are at risk of being ejected out of Clubhouse as well. So just be very careful who you extend your invitations to. We are trying to build an environment of authentic, real people who are doing real deals, not empty promises. All right, so once you've done that um, you and you come in, then what you need to do right away is create your profile. If you do not create your profile right away and you start going into different rooms, you're missing an incredible opportunity of gaining followers, okay? So please take the time, set up your profile right away. You may be invited to join some of your friends that are on Clubhouse already, they, they will get a ping letting them know that you are now in Clubhouse and they will be invited to come and do a welcome party. If you are able to get that notification and you are able to join them in that welcome party, I highly recommend you do so because they can probably give you some insights and tips. And plus, it's just really great to connect with people that maybe you haven't talked to in a while. But after that welcome party, if you go there, go back and straight away create your profile. And the first three lines on your profile, your, your BIOS area, where you want to let people know who you are and what you stand for and everything that you're, you're able to do for people, and maybe some of your credibility should be up there, then go ahead and use those first three lines as like your prime real estate, okay? And then down below, go ahead and continue to share a little bit more about who you serve and how you serve them and what it is that you would, uh, you're looking for, and then give them the opportunity to... Um, either you can set up your booking link right there inside of your profile and you need to connect your instagram and your twitter accounts this is the only way that people can direct message you is through your instagram clubhouse does not have a texting feature and i think that that's really actually so wonderful it's very unique if you're in the room listening to somebody you really mu pretty much are listening to them you're not doing something else on your phone usually because you can't be direct texting anybody from within the clubhouse app but you can go into their Instagram account and you, you can DM them, direct message them from your Instagram accounts and, and then set up time to talk after that through that platform. Or you can also enter like I've done where you enter your booking link right in your bio towards the bottom. That way they, if they really loved what you, they heard you share, then they can go straight into getting onto your calendar. That's kind of a fast track little tip that I've experienced myself. All right, when you pick out your bio picture, for your profile, make sure that it has really good contrast and, and you shine really, really bright because that's going to be what people start putting the face to the name kind of a thing. And you're not gonna wanna change your profile picture too often because um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start making a name for yourself and then people are gonna talk about you in other rooms and they're gonna say, oh, have you heard of so-and-so? And they're gonna try to mention your name but then they're gonna try to describe what they remember about your profile picture. So that's how we find each other in Clubhouse. It's by name and then by that profile picture. If there's something unique in your profile picture, that'll also potentially help them uh, remember how to uh, basically refer you to other people to connect with. If you are not um, established on Instagram and Twitter, when you enter Clubhouse, it's okay. You can explain that, but I would highly recommend rather quickly that you boost up your Instagram and Twitter profiles. Um, a lot of people like me, I've been spending a lot of the last couple of years focusing on Facebook as it seems like that's where a lot of my people were hanging out at. And so I can ultimately just take a lot of the content that I've been posting on Facebook and then just add it to my Instagram account really quickly so that when people go to my Instagram account, even though I don't have a lot of followers, they can tell who I still am and what, I, what I'm offering. And that kind of paints a picture for them. Now, another thing is for people like me, I have Revealio, which is over here. Revealio is my parent company, which is the media and software solutions company. Um, and then I have Tech With Heart, which is the nonprofit and the TV show. 
So what I've done on my personal Instagram account is I have made sure that they understand what I really want to be known for is up at the top. And then below that, I list both usernames because I have an Instagram account for Revealio and I have an Instagram account for Check With Heart because they are uniquely different and they each have a different purpose. And so rather than try and have everybody understand all of my content on my personal profile, I want my personal profile on Instagram to be more about my personal brand, which I'm still figuring out myself too, because I've been focusing on these two, but it's a great place for them to know that I, Hey, I'm also a part of these other two companies and they can go and tap on those links right inside of my Instagram account. So don't, uh, don't get overwhelmed if you haven't been really, really pushing hard on Instagram or Twitter for that matter. But um, d Instagram is the only place where people will be able to direct message you from Clubhouse. So it is vital that you get that up and running as quickly as possible. Being able to do business online is crucial for survival, especially during times of social distancing. So how do you survive and thrive in the sea of digital noise? It's a lot like fishing. You need to know who your perfect customer is so that you can use the right kind of lure to attract them. We help you catch your perfect customer and retain them for future sales through highly converting websites, influencer mobile apps, getting you featured in the news and on TV. Hi, my name is Jerry Bowden, U.S. Army veteran and president of Revealio Software Solutions. Our goal is to help you rise above the competition be seen as an expert authority in your industry and embrace technology to stay competitive for long-term success. It's more affordable than you may think. So reach out to us at Revealio.com and together we will make your business come alive. After you've done your profile and you've connected your Instagram, at least at least Instagram account, if not Instagram and Twitter, now you are ready to start perusing the rooms. Have you ever been to a, a convention center and maybe there's a couple of different uh, organizations having different things going on at the same time and you just kind of want to pop your head in and say, hey, what's going on in here? And sometimes you end up finding like the golden room, right? Where you're just like, wow, I think I was meant to be here. Well, that happens in Clubhouse. There are rooms that are gonna be already going when you enter and you're welcome to just, they call this the hallway. There's a part on the app where you can just scroll the many rooms and kind of identify based upon the topic that is listed, whether you'd like to pop in or not and have no fear about popping in everybody's expecting that they're going to have pop-ins or drop-ins, what they call it. So just go ahead, tap on any one of those rooms and you'll enter the room but you'll enter the room with your microphone muted. So you won't have to freak out thinking oh, they're going to hear me. So yeah, you enter the room muted and you always enter the room into the audience. Now there's three tiers of the clubhouse rooms. The top tier is where the speakers and the moderators are. And then there's a middle group area, which are people who are uh, actively following or somehow closely engaged to either speakers or the moderators of the room. And then down below is the audience you enter the room in the audience on mute and then if depending upon the size of the room you will stay in the audience until you raise your hand and even if you raise your hand there's still no guarantee that you're going to be called up to the stage just go ahead and start popping into different rooms listen in for a little while see what kind of knowledge bombs are getting drops you'll find that it can be quite um, addicting some people are kind of like calling it brain crack. It's pretty amazing the knowledge that's being shared in there. And of course you do need to have discernment and you need to you know, always vet anybody that you decide to do business with because everybody's saying things like, you know, I am this, I can do this for you, or you, know, you, should, you should follow me because I can you know, change your world or whatever. But just, you know, take it with a grain of salt and really research them and then find out who's following them. And then if you ever want to lay down some big money with them, make sure that you do vet them or reach out to other people that may have done business with them so that you weren't making, you know, poor choices with your investments. But this is a really great way to grow. You just pop into different rooms. I've experienced where um, I popped into a room. It was a smaller room, maybe had less than you know, 50 people. And as soon as I entered the room, I just like whoop, got an invite to jump up on stage. And um, when that happens, you'll get a green bar at the top that says, uh, join them on stage. And you have the opportunity to decline. You can say, oh, oh, I just entered this room. No, I'm not ready to talk. 
But if you do get invited up onto the stage, you will need to know that as soon as you accept, you get brought up there, your mic gets turned to on. And it is good etiquette to immediately mute yourself because just because you got brought up to stage does not mean it's your turn to talk. So that's a good tip. Make sure you mute yourself instantly. Once you've taken a look at other people's bios, um, once you've been in rooms and you're, you're just like, as soon as you hear something great, you go and you find out who's talking. Now, the person that's talking is going to have a circle around their profile picture and they're going to, you're going to tell that the mic is off. Okay. So that's how you can identify who's talking in the room. But if you tap on their profile picture, their bio page is going to show up and you are given the opportunity to follow them at that point. If you really think that they're the bee's knees and you wanna follow them or be notified every single time they open a, a new room, then there's the little bell next to the follow on, that, uh, profile, on their profile page and you're gonna to wanna to tap that. And now you will get notification every time they are um, hosting a room. So that's a good way for you to kind of track that. And then to the right of the follow button are three little stars and that is kind of an opportunity for you to highly recommend somebody. Not really quite sure what that happens on the algorithm side for that person, but it lets the um, app know that you highly recommend that person. And so perhaps, I don't know, somehow it will rank them higher on your notifications. I personally am not sure what the benefit of that is yet, but it's just that's what that little stars icon is. For those who are just like really crushing it and they've been on uh, in Clubhouse for a while, you'll, you'll want to take note how they wrote their profile. Take a look at a couple of different people, maybe even find somebody in your industry that has a tremendous amount of followers and model your bio after theirs so that, you know, the whole, the old rule is if you find somebody that's crushing it, do what they do, right? All right, so let's talk again about how to speak on stage. So if you enter a room and you raise your hand in the audience and you get invited up from a speaker, be sure you hit the mute on your lower right-hand corner of your app right away because as soon as you're invited up onto a stage, your um, microphone immediately turns on and you don't want to be bothering whoever is currently talking because again, just when you get invited up to a stage does not mean it's automatically your turn to talk. All right. So um, that is the first thing that you need to make sure you do so that that is what we call proper etiquette. When you are called upon to speak, simply tap on that microphone button in the lower right hand corner of your app and you will be able to be heard. If you give yourself a second either way, don't uh, be so quick to turn off the mic when you're finishing a sentence. Just give it a second or two and then hit mute because oftentimes what they're hearing versus what you're saying is just could have like a one or two second lag. Okay. Just be aware of that. And then um, if somebody else is speaking in the room and you are on the stage and you agree wholeheartedly with what they are saying, and it's kind of like you, you wish you could be clapping, but there's no such thing as clapping in clubhouse. What you can do is you can tap your microphone button really fast on and off, on and off, and it'll flicker on your profile. And they will see that if they're looking at their phone to understand that you're basically like applauding what they're saying. And it's just a really nice thing for us to like get confirmation about what we're saying is what other people are agreeing with because otherwise you're just talking, right? And you don't know what other people are thinking. And so it's a really great way for audience engagement, I'm sorry. It's only for the speakers and the moderators on the stage that are able to do that, but it's a really beautiful way to be supportive of one another. If you are in, uh, brought up to a stage, some rooms you're brought up to the stage because you are in the audience and you, are, you wanna ask a question. So when they do call upon you, the moderators are the ones with the little green icons underneath their pic profile picture. They're the ones that control the room. When your name is being called upon to speak, be very concise in your introduction of yourself and what your question is. This is an opportunity for you to do two things to shine and to ask a very intelligent question, hopefully, so that ultimately when you ask that question, it's gonna be of benefit to others in the audience, but it's also going to uh, help you, of course, and position you as a, a possible authority or somewhere in this arena, you wanna ask questions that will help you shine. Um, you also wanna make sure that your intro 
will also help you shine. So I would say something like, hi, I'm Michelle Calloway. I am a media and um, TV show host, and I help experts step out of the shadows and into the spotlight by getting them their own TV show or helping them build their own island by getting them their own television network launched. Uh, my question is, and then I would pose my question. So you kind of kind of want to know what you'd want to say about yourself as part of your intro to like pique everybody's interest because here's what's happening behind the scenes. They just heard you. They're looking at your little profile picture now and the more confident of course, and you know, smooth you are, then that makes them think, oh, wow, this person's a real expert, you know, real professional. So they'll tap on your photo and then they're going to go, what? They're going to look at your bio. That's why it's so important to have your bio already filled out before you start entering rooms. Then if whatever they see in your bio resonates along with what you're saying resonates with them, they're going to follow you. And then from there, they're going to want to go into your Instagram and they're going to want to follow your Instagram. And then if they really are intrigued by what you're saying, they're going to want to reach out to you through a direct message. So that's why it's so important to do that part first before you enter rooms, because you don't want to lose out on that opportunity to connect with those people. So that's a really wonderful platform. All right. So if you are on stage and you are speaking and you've asked your question, be sure to mute yourself so that when they give their input, you're muted. All right, and then don't forget, you have to unmute yourself if you want to say, thank you so much for that input. That was really valuable. The, you know, this is what I always think, and then you're able to converse a little bit more. Be mindful of the time that you spend. You don't want to take too much time away from the room. You want to always be gracious to the host of the room because it's their room. And if it's a big room, meaning there's a lot of people in the room, and they probably really want to try and serve as many people as they can by giving them opportunity, to get on the stage. So just be mindful. You'll make a, a reputation of yourself if you end up uh, taking too much time from people's stages and you don't want people to feel like, oh, I can't call her up. She's just gonna just talk and 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 talk. And nobody's gonna wanna listen to that, right? You you wanna be like, oh man, thank you so much. You're a rock star. Always um, you know, give praise and thank yous and be very gracious for um, having them call you up on the stage in the first place. And that is really going to take you far. Generosity is the name of the game on this platform. Another thing is if you are on somebody else's stage and you've asked your question, they will either choose to remove you from the stage and put you back into the audience, or you can go ahead and do it yourself. That's even less work for them, right? So can you imagine being on a talk show and you get invited to somebody's stage to ask a question You've had your time, you've got a chance to engage with them, and then you just stayed up there while everybody else kept coming up to the stage to talk. Isn't that kind of awkward and weird? So yeah, go ahead and remove yourself from their stage. It makes them realize that, you know, you are a professional and you real you're not you're not expecting to take over their, you know, conversation unless they ask you to stay. If they've asked you to stay, then stay. Sometimes they'll even turn you into a moderator because they realize, oh, wow, this person's an expert about this. She can probably really contribute to the uh, conversation. So let's turn her into a moderator. So that's kind of how that goes. Just it's about etiquette. It's about being grace, grace, gracious and um, generous. So how do you host your own room? Well, you can create a room in two different ways. There's a little green bar at the very bottom that says start room. That is just kind of completely on the fly. There's no real thought to it in the sense of you don't get to add a title. It's just like, hey, let's just start a room. And then if I start a room, I have an opportunity to go in and invite just a few of my friends if I just want to chat or you know, ask them to bring in friends. But there's not going to be any title showing up on your room. It's just going to show up that you're in a room and somebody else might peek in because that's the whole purpose of this platform. So. The only way you can have a private conversation is if you create what they call a closed room so that you can only come in by in invitation. But otherwise, it's just a really fun social opportunity to just connect with people that you've never met before or even reconnect with people that you haven't talked to in quite a while. So that's the one way that you can start a room. That is not the recommended way if you want to obviously you know, get a lot of people interested in your topic. So if you want to start a room that has a theme or a title to it, you will need to go to the upper part of the app and they'll see like, looks like a calendar. 
and you will need to tap on that and go ahead and create an event. It's what this is you getting an opportunity to create your own stage, your own event for free. So give your room a title, a title that would be really inviting. And then use some emojis if you feel like you can find some emojis that really support what you're trying to convey. And then below your uh, where you enter the time that you want to do it on the date that you want to do it, you're going to want to enter a description. It's going to be need to be short, of course, the title needs to be somewhat short and so does the description, but that will really also help people understand whether or not they want to join in your room, just pop in. All right, so then you get on the schedule, you can schedule out as many as you want, you can schedule it out like one minute in advance, but this is by far the more superior way to create a room. All right, so once you've got your room open, you pop in there first and pop in there maybe about five minutes, 10 minutes before your launch time is scheduled so that you have people in your room before you start needing to start sharing the information that you came there to present. And it's also really great to present information, but not make it like a webinar to where you're just talk, 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 share, 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 share. And then you're not inviting others to engage. This is really a wonderful way to give back and forth. So it's nice for you to talk for maybe 10, 15 minutes and then just say, hey, does anybody have any questions? And if they do and they're in the audience, they raise their hand and you can invite them up on stage. Another thing that you can do is you can ask somebody else that you know that either is maybe even in your own company that they can help you moderate the room. Or you can ask somebody that is very complimentary to what you do so that you can co-host a room together so that they can invite all their friends, you're inviting all your friends, and then anybody else that's wandering down the hallway can see the title of your topic and they can pop in at any time. But the neat thing about that is that you're not trying to control a room all by yourself. And often if you don't have somebody out the gate to do that with, you can always um, kind of, you know, when people start entering the room and you start finding out that this person's amazing, they don't mind hanging out, you can just say, hey, would you mind sticking around and helping me run this room? And they'd be like, absolutely. And then you can turn them into a moderator by tapping on their icon. And then it gives you the opportunity to um, give them moderator status, which allows them to control the room with you. They can mute other people's microphones. They can add people to the stage. They can remove people from the stage. They can even kick people out of the room if somebody's being disruptive somehow. So those are some tips on how to uh, run a room. Once the meeting is over, you can tap on, um, there's three little buttons in the upper right hand corner, you tap on those and it gives you the opportunity to end a room. And when you host a room and you end a room, Clubhouse is aware of that and it gives you kind of like brownie points for being so active. The more rooms you host, the more engaging, engagement you are, the more often you're brought up to stage or the more often you're turned into a moderator, it's tracking all of that. And it gives you more invites based upon how actively you are on the, um, involved on the, on the platform. And it rewards those that uh, take action. So I love that about it. And it doesn't really matter. This is one platform that does not matter about how many people you have following you. Okay, that's not what's going to set you apart. What's going to set you apart is the quality of what you share in different groups. So keep that in mind. This is not just a numbers game. Some people are, might want to know how to start a club. So you can actually have your own club within Clubhouse. And that is like next level. So hosting your room is great. It's like, hey, I'm having an event. Come hear what I have to share and I'll allow you to you know, ask questions live. It's a great way to build networking, you know, build community and, and grow value and, and grow your business, right? But some people are going to want to take things to the next level. So like I'm going to be starting to host rooms called Tech with Heart because Tech with Heart is all about empowering entrepreneurs to be successful in a digital era. And that covers a lot of actual topics. We're going to talk strictly technology and systems or we can talk mental uh, mindset around embracing technology because a lot of people struggle with the whole concept of embracing technology, which is the first barrier that we need to overcome in order to help them you know, actually embrace the technology. So we can have topics around that. 
or we can have topics around how technology enhances human relationships and what kind of systems are in place or what, what technologies are out there that will allow us to grow closer together and to one another. And like Clubhouse is a perfect example of that type of technology. So I could have Tech With Heart as my main topic and then kind of like have a byline as far as what this particular Tech With Heart conversation is going to be focused on. I need to host three rooms in a row for uh, I think it's a week and then I can apply for my own club. Some people are saying you need to host three rooms for three weeks in a row and um, do it consistently so that Clubhouse can see that you're serious about it. So there is some strategy if you want to get to the point where you have your own club. And what having your own club does is it just kind of helps you start building your own community. Like these are all Tech With Heart peeps. And inside of your my club, Tech With Heart, when I get that going, if you are a Tech With Heart member, then you can ask to host a room inside of Tech With Heart, which as Tech With Heart, the club grows, it's just even more visibility for you within that contained community in which we are all heart-centered, forward-thinking entrepreneurs looking to grow our business, or we're bigger influencers looking to help entrepreneurs grow their business. So I hope that gives you clarity and I hope that provides you with some value. After you have submitted your application on clubhouseguide.com, then you will need to wait to hear back from them. And from what I'm understanding is it's taking a couple of weeks, if not maybe a month or so, because they are so inundated. This app is growing at like phenomenal rates. And so just be patient and just keep hosting rooms until then, You're making a name for yourself. All right, so here's how to get the most benefit from Clubhouse. I'm just gonna rattle these off. Number one, connect with leaders and influencers. Those that are already at the level that you want to be at so that you can get those awesome knowledge bombs that they're dropping and that you can quickly grow your business. Listen to them as often as you can. Jump in their rooms as much as you are able to. Second, strategize and plan to host your room as often as you can. Third, be consistent. Make a plan, Play, put it in your calendar, make it happen. Set aside at least an hour, if not two, every time you host a room. Because what will happen is some people may not hear about it until 45 minutes into the first hour. But those people that just entered, maybe you would get it like 10 different new people do you really want to send them, send them away? I mean, if you have to, you have to. But I would suggest when you first get started, open yourself for about two hour blocks. And then over deliver value. That's the fourth one. Over deliver value. When people see that you're gracious with your knowledge, it's more attractive for them to want to reach out to you to possibly do business with you. You know, don't just uh, be so salesy, you know? like really make them feel like, wow, if I work with this person, I'm really going to be well taken care of because they know a lot and I just need to hang out with them. And five, invite friends and colleagues. Of course, the more people that you invite in, they're going to thank you later, right? But then what's going to happen is they're going to connect you. They're going to say, oh, you need to, you need to go connect with my friend, Michelle. She can totally hook you up with your, your own television show or your own podcast or TV network. You need to go talk to her. Her name's blah, blah, blah. And, and uh, they'll send you, you know, you a referral. So that's a great reason why you would want to have your friends in there. And of course, your friends can edify you when you're in your own room and they pop in, they can say, oh yeah, Michelle, I've worked with her for years and she is absolutely phenomenal, y'all. You really need to know that her heart is in the right place and she's doing this for all the right reasons and she's just making some serious change in people's lives and I just I'm so glad to even have her in my life and you are going to be so glad that you're in this room right now. And that is so valuable to have your friends or colleagues pop in and say those type of edifying words without prompt. They just do it because they love you and they want to support you. Six, be authentic, be you for real. Don't put on airs, don't try to be who you're not. And if you struggle with imposter syndrome, that is something you need to check at the door 
just come in and be real. Share with what you do know. Don't try to be an expert in all things. Don't BS. People can hear it in your voice because if you're not authentic to yourself, it's going to come across as a frequency through your voice. So definitely show up to be the real you. The nice thing is this platform does not require you to have all your makeup done, your hair done, or even be in your best suit or tie. Just show up and be real. I heard one influencer, big time influencer, he's on the, pl the platform like all the time. He was taking a bath while being a moderator in a room and you could hear the water splashing. But in a way, wasn't that like super cool to like think that somebody's taking their time, valuable time, one-on-one -on -one time, to be relaxing in a tub while giving knowledge bombs to people who could really use it for free. Did I mention it's for free? <laughs> this is amazing, you guys. It's a revolutionary, this app. All right, seven, ask questions. If you are afraid of speaking on stage, ask a question, raise your hand. Nobody's going to see how red you get when you didn't say the right words the right way. Nobody's going to care. They're going to be so proud of you that this, this is the most supportive environment I've ever seen. If you get up there and you're like, well, I have a question and then I'm on digital. They're going to say, it's okay. It's okay. Just take some deep breaths. They're going to talk you through it. They're going to help you get out of you what needs to come out of you so that the questions can get asked. You don't have to be an expert question asker. Just get up there. Ask a question. If you don't know how to uh, introduce yourself, just say your name and share a little bit about what you're doing. It's all a growth process. That's why I love this. There's people coming in that are just getting going in their entrepreneurial um, journey. There are people that are in there that aren't even in business. They just want to hang out with other musicians or they want to hang out with other actresses or actors and it's just a really great place to hang out it's a clubhouse but if you do get up on stage and you ask your question then you're going to be so glad you did because maybe that question that you're asking is exactly what you need the answer to to take your business to the next level so please do not sit in the audience and never get up on stage and ask a question raise your hand. You don't always get called up when you raise your hand. And there's a little raise hand icon in the lower right hand corner when you're sitting in an audience. But if you do get asked up on stage, you can feel that little flutter sometimes. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm getting invited on stage. I'm so nervous because like, you're, you're talking in front of maybe, you know, many multimillionaires and you're just like, oh, I'm just like just getting going. But don't be intimidated. They're human beings and they really are there to help. Number eight compliment others often. I mentioned earlier about the importance of being gracious. When somebody does give you airtime on their stage, thank them for that. If you got invited up because you raised your hand and you're going to ask a question, first thing out of your mouth might be, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This, this, this opportunity is going to be life-changing. I know it. And my name is so-and-so. And, you know, just thank them for their time. Many influencers are spending like almost 40 hours a week on this platform because they are at that level where their business could run without them. And they're choosing to be on this platform to provide value. And of course they're growing followers, right? And of course they're probably getting more mentees hired on for their coaching programs or whatnot. But irregardless, they're here and the, the platform is free. And normally you would have to spend 20 to $40,000 to hear this much knowledge being shared from experts. So this is the place to be y'all. Compliment often, be gracious, be appreciative of people's times. And even if you wanted to, you can even go into their bio and oftentimes they'll either have their cash app or their Venmo information in there and feel free to drop them a tip in a way. It's kind of like, hey, thank you so much. That really, really was valuable for me. And you can give them some monetization that way. So I mentioned compliment others, but number nine is also be gracious. They kind of go hand in hand. Be uh, full of compliments and, and share your appreciation for with people regularly. Um, don't be syrupy and sappy with it, but just be genuine and authentic. 
Number 10, follow up with those that message you on Instagram. I was fairly new to Instagram platform because I'm, I, like I said, I mentioned earlier that most of my time was being focused on, on Facebook. And I wasn't really sure how to work the messaging feature on Instagram. So I went in and a couple of days later realized, oh, wow, I have like all of these unread texts. And so I just simply apologized. I said, I'm so sorry, just now getting back to you. I didn't see it, um, but you know, let's, just, let's just go straight into the engaging conversation and follow up with them because they're all busy too. So sometimes, you know, you're just trying to like learn a little bit about who they are uh, what they heard about you that you you know made them reach out to you or sometimes they just want to applaud you like I heard you you did great on the stage you know they just kind of want to give you a little cheer and that's wonderful but that could be the spark of a great relationship so um, take a look at who they are don't just follow back but kind of look in a little bit into them they took the time to go in and dm you direct message you so invest a little bit of time back to them and uh, follow them and just, you know, everybody's cheering everybody on on this platform. So be sure you follow up with people and, uh, you know, get a CRM and start tracking that kind of stuff. I've been taking a ton of notes, having a ton of fun, but this platform has really already changed my business. And that's why I'm doing this Tech With Heart uh, series all about Clubhouse, because I think it is the most valuable thing that I've come across in a decade. This is exciting, you guys, super exciting. And right now it's all being offered for free and the public launch is coming up in March. And at that time it will hit critical mass very fast. But right now you have an opportunity if you're listening to the show, this film was filmed in January, 2021. Please jump on there as quickly as possible. Get as much traction as you can. This is like back in the day when YouTube was just getting launched and they had no idea how big YouTube could be or even back in the day when Facebook first got started. But honestly, guys, this is, a, this is a platform for you to have a stage for free. And people are interested in what you have and they wanna hear from you. People need to hear from you. So that is my uh, session for today. I just wanna go back and talk about etiquette a little bit because it is important that you behave very professionally on this platform because this is an elite platform. So be real, be authentic, give value, don't be salesy, don't be salesy, invest in people, invest your time into others, be overly gracious, be over deliver value, and that's what you'll get the most out of this platform, they will flock to you, just be real, be authentic and give value, don't make false promotions or uh, promises or you know, don't, don't just go after them for their money. That is not at all the right way to do business, period. Your intention comes across loud and clear in your voice. And that's what they're hearing. So be real, ask questions, ask them, what is it that they're looking for? What is it that you, they can, you can help them with? And that's what a lot of these rooms are doing. They're just there to support, but ultimately, yeah, they're getting business out of it. So just be authentic, be real. And be selective. Again, I'm going to mention this. Be selective as to who you invite in, because if you are connected to that person and that person gets banned from the app for behaving poorly, making false promises, and just being all salesy, 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 spammy, 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 then you will get kicked out too. And that would be incredibly unfortunate. You could be losing out on multi-million dollars worth of business because you let somebody in that's kind of sleazy. Nobody likes a used car salesman. This isn't the platform for them. So this is where the real high frequency, high IQ influencer, thought leader, mark, you know, gurus are hanging out and they're giving value and having their own stage and inviting other people onto their stage. So I hope this helps. I hope this blesses you tremendously. To get a deeper scoop on the ins and the outs, I'm going to give you the, the uh, Clubhouse official guide. Um, I mentioned it earlier, it is clubhouseguide.com. And to avoid getting kicked out of Clubhouse, make sure you follow the community guidelines. I will put those links in the, the, the text portion of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
And Tech With Heart is all about empowering entrepreneurs to be successful in a rapidly changing digital world. And that's why I'm talking about Clubhouse right now, because it is the platform that you need to be on. And if you feel that you would provide value back to our entrepreneurial audience and would like to be interviewed by me as an expert in your industry, please reach out to us at techwithheartnetwork.com. Join our community. We're on Facebook, WhatsApp, Alignable, and now we're going to start a club on Clubhouse. So please join our network. We would love to have you. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Bye -bye.